Hi viewers, Excel Carols is here again with one of the most useful functions of MS Excel. If you are a project manager who deals with deadlines to get the job done or you are into finance preparing certain reports to analyze the steps taken towards the fulfillment of the business goals, this video is certainly for you. Here we have taken an example of a student who is preparing for a competitive exam and wants to have a lesson plan ready beforehand. The student has an approximate idea of how many days should be dedicated to a lesson and wants MS Excel to compute the end dates considering weekends and holidays will be off. The workday function of MS Excel is a perfect solution to this. Let's suppose the preparation begins from 14th of January 2021 let's type the date and lesson one takes five days to complete so let's type five here in this case we can get the date of completion of lesson one by applying the workday function so let's start typing workday it appears as one of the suggestions first we will have to select the start date which in our case is 14th january press comma and it takes five days to complete also we will have to consider the holidays in the calendar year and we have the list over here so we will select the holidays close the bracket press enter and we see that lesson one will be completed by 22nd of january let's see we have a calendar handy over here so let's count the date so it's 14 next it's 15 which is the first day we have to skip the weekends second day oh 18th january is a holiday so we will have to skip 18th as well so 15th is our first day 19th is our second day 20th is our third day 21st is our fourth day and 22nd is our fifth day so lesson one will be completed by 22nd of january 2021 let's change the format of our dates right click on any of the date select format cells make sure you have selected date as a category let's go for this format because this looks better press ok and yes this looks good let's also have the deadline in the same format select the cell click on format brush and click on the deadline yes we have the format note that the workday function starts counting the days from one day after the start date that is entered while applying the function in case we want workday to consider the start date as day one we simply need to put a minus one while entering the function and we see that the deadline now is 21st january 2021 now that we have a fair idea of how the workday function works let's try to complete the lesson plan using the workday function if we assume that the next lesson starts on the next day after previous lessons deadline we can save our time by putting a formula here that is this should be the previous lessons deadline plus one and we have the date let's randomly enter the number of days required to complete to do that we can use the rand between function which helps us enter the random values start typing rand between see it appears as one of the suggestion enter the range with 15 as our lower limit and 45 as the upper limit close bracket and we have a random number here now let's apply the workday function so we have workday as one of the suggestion this is our starting date press comma this is the number of days taken and we have to enter the list of holidays and if we want 
workday function to count 22nd January 2021 as the day 1, we have to enter a minus 1 and it comes up. Note that the number of days required got updated from 29 to 28. That is because if we enter any formula, rand between again runs and gives a new number. To avoid such kind of a situation, we can simply copy this and value paste it. Now it will not change the number if we enter any other formula. Moving ahead, let's first enter the number of days required with the help of rand between function with 15 as the lower limit and 45 as the upper limit. So now rand between will give us a value between 15 and 45. Press enter. Let's drag it down till the end. Copy this and value paste this so that it doesn't get updated when we enter any other formula. Now let's enter the start dates by dragging this formula down till the end. Don't worry about those awkward looking dates. It will get updated as and we update the deadlines. Let's now drag this formula down and we have the deadlines as well. Before moving ahead, let's check if any of these dates are a holiday or a weekend. Thankfully, none of the start dates are. Let's go through the deadlines as well. If we observe carefully, 25th April, 25th of July, 12th September and 14th November are holidays. Let's zoom into the calendar. See, 25th April, 25th of July, 12th September and 14th November are Sundays, which is a weekend. This has happened because we have forcefully made workday function to count start date as day 1 by putting minus 1 after the function. Let's remove this minus 1 from here and we have the updated dates, none of which is a weekend or a holiday. So now the student has a lesson plan ready which will keep the exam preparation organized. However, we might come across situations when we have to consider Saturdays and Sundays working and keep other days as weekend. Workday international function becomes savior in such situation. Let's learn how is it applied. So start typing workday. See workday.intl that is workday international is appearing as one of the suggestions. Select this. Now select the start date. Select the number of days. Now we have to enter our weekend. So we have lots of option over here. Let's select Monday and Tuesday as our weekend. Press tab to select it. Now select the holiday list, close the bracket and there we go. Let's drag it down to the bottom, little bit of formatting and we have the updated dates here. Let's verify, unfortunately both workday and workday international functions are returning same deadline for lesson 1. So we shall apply the workday international function for lesson 2 by taking 5 as the number of days required to complete because 33 will be too much to count. Let's start typing the function. It appears as one of the suggestion. Let's select it. This is our start date. We are taking 5 as the number of days required to complete. Now we will be putting Monday and Tuesday as the weekend. Press comma. Select the list of holidays, close bracket, press enter and we have 29th January as the deadline. Let's count. Since we have taken 22nd January as the start date, we have to start counting from 23 because we have not added minus 1 in this. So 23 becomes our day 1, 
24 is our day 2. Monday and Tuesday is weekend. 27 is our day 3. 28th is our day 4. And 29th is our day 5. And we have the value here. So we can see how workday function becomes substantial if we are working on a project or preparing a plan which requires us to stick to a deadline. Hope this will help you own your MS Excel skills. If yes, press the like button, share this video as much as you can, mention your feedback in the comment section below and stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and tapping on the bell icon.